So right now I'm having Dr. Santos uh, run through a trajectory. I just started it. Um, and the robot is now kind of learning which uh, joint angles are going through. And she's doing kind of a pick and place experiment. So I just stopped the trajectory. Um, it's now in position control again, so it'll hold itself up. And then, so it's recorded all the joint angles that uh, Dr. Santos just moved it through. And then I can go ahead and replay those joint angles. Um, this is one way we have of controlling uh, this particular robot. Well, we're interested in using human grasp as an inspiration for artificial grasp. The goal is to uh, enable humans and machines um, that are built differently to bring these two together and have them work seamlessly with one another. The robotic hands that we currently make are pretty well advanced. They have more degrees of freedom than the human hand. When we need to command a robotic or prosthetic hand, they don't have the same hinges and bones and joints um, as a biological hand, and we need to send actual voltages to motors. Well, this is the motion capture room where we do our human subject testing, and the cameras all around are able to see markers on the subject's hands. So we take volunteer uh, informed consenting subjects and we collect motion uh, capture data from their hands. We uh, collect their fingertip force data and sometimes we also even uh, listen non-invasively to the muscles in the hand as they're performing different tasks. The point of capturing the algorithms would pretty much be to characterize um, the response the human, that humans have in maintaining a grasp of an object. Um, we need a robotic hand to replay these algorithms so that we can help develop code that lets the robotics, whether it's in um, an automation assembly or in a prosthetic hand, um, control the grasp of the object to a more precise manner. The main goal that we really work on here is prosthetic hands, so it would be to reduce the um, burden on the user. One of the things that I'm really interested in uh, are the neuroprosthetic applications but the applications are as broad um, as you know, uh, deep sea or deep space or the battlefield, anywhere uh, a human wants to manipulate their world um, using an artificial grasper.